Now, let's see what are primary auxiliary verbs. They are be, have, do. The various forms of be are am, is, are, was, were, shall, will, being, been. Forms of have has, had. Forms of do, does, did. Now what are the functions or what is the function of be? Now be is used in various forms. So it is formation of the progressive tense that is passive voice. Now what do we mean by progressive? Progressive means it is ing or we can call it as continuous when the process is going on. Then have, has, had. What do we mean by has and had or when do we use this has or had? It is the formation of perfect tense. Now what is perfect? Perfect means very very true or we can say it is pakka that is perfect then forms of do that is does and did it is formation of interrogation and negation interrogation means asking questions and negation it is negative emphasis means it puts stress on that particular word or the sentence or the meaning emphasis matlab putting stress then request and invitation so these are the primary auxiliary verbs which have different functions now here i take a sentence they are enjoying themselves in the swimming pool now this is the r is the form of b now suppose you get a sentence they dash enjoying themselves in the swimming pool and in bracket the word b is given now you have to write the proper form of b now can we write here they am, they is, they was. It is wrong. So what is the correct word which has to come over here? It is they are, the other form of be. That is progressive tense. Next is the car was being repaired by the mechanic. Here it is passive voice again another form of be the car was being being repaired by the mechanic it is passive voice by whom is the car being repaired by the mechanic so here it is in passive voice next is she has completed her work that is pakka completed has completed surely pakka she has completed her work she had completed her work to bhi it would have been perfect tense next is do you know the answer to this question do you know the answer to this question and there is a question mark what does it mean it is interrogation so many of the times most of the times we use the word do while we have to ask a question next is i did not buy any flowers today it is negation what is negation i told you it's negative now why it is negative because the word not is there. I did not buy any flowers today. That is the sentence is in 
नेगेटिव सो डिड के साथ हम हमेशा नॉट यूज करते हैं देन इट बिकम्स अ नेगेटिव सेंटेंस नेक्स्ट इज वी डिड चेक ऑल द बैग्स दैट मीन्स एम्फसिस एम्फसिस मीन्स स्ट्रेस येस वी डिड चेक द बैग्स something was wrong somebody has lost something from in the class when pt period was going on and what they do the teachers do that time the teachers will start checking the bags of every one then it is we did check all the bags that is emphasis putting stress that is a did do come with me to the party please do this homework do come with me to the party so what it is do come with me to the party it is a request that is we are requesting someone please do come to the party please do join us for a cup of tea then it is do come with me to the party so these are the different forms of primary auxiliary verbs we will see some sentences i don't know exactly how much it costs it is i don't know exactly how much it costs so the auxiliary verb here it is don't and what is the function or we can say it is negative don't negative next sentence but i couldn't find it i couldn't that is in ability couldn't nahi in ability can is ability couldn't i couldn't find it here couldn't is auxiliary verb and the function is in ability next is she would do well to practice a little more she would do well to practice a little more would do well it is probability that is possibility we can say next is solar water heaters can save enough electricity now here can and the function is ability if you focus your energies like this you can burn anything in the world if you focus your energies like this you can burn anything in the world now what is can again over here that means if you focus your energy or if you come together you can you can means your ability now if you keep social distancing then if you wear your masks if you wear if you uh, wear your sanitizers and if you follow all the rules properly then definitely you can eradicate this covid 19 you can that means what able ability now can you please give me your pencil can you please drop me at my place can you please give me a lift so here here can is request so though the word can is used in different sentences every time the function of can is changing it would not be as tasty it would not be as tasty now the function of would here is deny that is refusal next is remember this too shall pass this too shall pass now what is shall over here it is future tense remember this too shall pass shall means what 
an auxiliary verb but the function is like it is used in a future tense can i see your watch it is informal permission can i see your watch informal permission you may enter the class you are standing at the door and taking permission or asking to your teacher may i come in miss it's a formal permission the teacher says yes you may enter the class yes you may come in it is the formal permission then i may go to pune next week i may go to pune next week here it is possibility because you are not sure i may go if time permits then i may go to pune so here may is auxiliary verb and it is possibility the function is possibility and suppose we say may god bless you see here again we are using the word may m a y may in the first sentence i may go to pune it was possibility in the second sentence may god bless you the word is the same but the function has changed so here may is wish you must remain silent what do we mean by this you must remain silent that is compulsion the program is going on in the school ground you have all gathered over there for the program so that means that time the teachers tell you you must keep quiet you must maintain silence that means compulsory or we can say here it is command also compulsory you must respect the national flag now what is must over here you must respect compulsory duty obligation i need to take some rest i am very tired i need to take some rest my head is paining i need to take a tablet that is the necessity the need of the hour us waqt mujhe zarurat hai bahut sar mein dard hai i want to take a tablet so that is need the necessity now next is my father has to go to office on sundays too my father has to go to office on sundays too now what is has to over here it is compulsory obligation why we are using the word obligation because it is duty the father has to go to office now here has is the auxiliary verb 